from Poplar Village Gardens and I'm back from vacation. So we're gonna make this video. I'm gonna start a little bit with how we involve children with the food production. And one of the things that we do with them is we teach them about the plants, uh, edible plants that are in the yard as well as the things that we grow in the garden. I'm standing next to something called lamb's quarters. This is a ginormous lamb's quarters. Uh, my grandmother taught me about eating lamb's quarters and when I started doing a little bit more with foraging on the property here, I started involving the children with this and I found that this is one of the kids' favorite foods. It makes a very dark pot liquor. I feel always the darker the better as far as vitamin and, uh, and nutrient content. And we're having the kids today pick some of the uh, lamb's quarters out of our elevated planter. That's part of our weeding, but out while we are weeding, we are also harvesting food. And then later on, they will be involved in the processing of it to get it ready for cooking. Most of what I wanted to talk about today was some of the infrastructure work. Poplar Village Gardens, this is our third summer um, as a working farm and a lot of what we have had to do is infrastructure and that can be anything from um, the mulching of different growing areas to installation of new beds to the construction of a greenhouse. Uh, in this particular summer we have the luxury of being able to put some money into some big infrastructure projects and what we are standing next to is part of that. Um, early in the season uh, we put up the canopy that we had used last year as coverage for our wash and pack area and uh, it was quickly taken down by a windstorm along with a, some severe damage to the greenhouse. Now um, what that means is that we had to find a replacement for that and what we decided to do was we decided to build a pergola um, and what we have done here with the roof is we have installed some SPF uh, protected, uh, uh, oh gosh, polycarbonate uh, roofing so that there is a roof on here so we don't have birds flying over and dropping their droppings in areas where we might be handling food. One of the things that we try to do with every structure that we put on the property is we try to make sure that if there's a way to have rainwater catchment, we put in and install rainwater catchment. So in this location, what we've done is we've taken three of the barrels that were at the back corner of the house and we've connected them to the gutter and downspout on this new structure and they are connected to each other so you see that the barrel back here is the highest then it will overflow into this barrel which will then overflow into this barrel as always we want to repurpose things that we don't need anymore for an individual purpose I'm standing here next to some new structures that are replacing the three barrels that we moved out to put underneath the pergola. They were previously in this location, but what I really wanted to do was I wanted to maximize the amount of rainwater that we could harvest because this roof produces a lot of rainwater. Now this structure puts three barrels on top of each other. I've got two structures here. We're going to take all of that off of the roof and have it drain into both sets of barrels at the same time and each set of barrels will have a spigot on it so that we can actually run a hose out to um, beyond the fence where we can um, have a little bit of water pressure for watering things which should save us a lot of time in harvesting and carrying water. I'm standing next to the strawberry towers. This was a big piece of our infrastructure. We spent a lot of time uh, preparing the space for these towers. We added four this year, which takes time and effort to assemble. But you can see our strawberries are looking very happy in their home, and we've been able to take very good care of them, and we are getting some production, um, and hoping that next year will be even more. Mm -hmm. 